indeed i feel very 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 sort of uh, happy you see because here uh, like i think the uh, sea of human faces uh, there's a lot of faces here but there's a no single face which looking little sort of uh, tense or what say stern everybody is say a uh, face uh, at least i can see here you see everybody's face some smiles <laughs> and the smile of course the genuine smile not artificial smile <laughs> the genuine smile is the i think expression of our sort of I don't know, friendship or some kind of i think warm feeling so i very much appreciate you see, your warm feeling we are same human being i am nothing special we just is the same human being we everybody you see have the potential to make good smile <laughs> isn't it uh, so the human affection sense of caring one another i think that is very powerful uh, i think beyond our words and you see different sort of i think background anybody you see can communicate uh, through warm feeling one another so i think that is the uh, not only just i think one good quality of human being but also i think that is the basis of our survival and especially in order to live happy life the human affection is the foundation without the human affection without the human sense of caring the humanity or human family uh, will not be happy one so i want is to share with you here is that in spite of many material development look here you see i think marvelous houses is here very good <laughs> but but if we live in these big houses with some kind of turbulent mind turbulent mind a turbulent uh, turbulent or agitated mind uh, or fear you won't get you you won't be a happy person looks from externally yes things are very beautiful but the people who remain inside if is the mental level some kind of disturbance some kind of agitate agitation there agitated mind there then the life will be miserable isn't it therefore the uh, it is very very essential to know the in order to be happy person in order to have happy family happy society one very crucial and a very important thing is good heart that is very crucial <laughs> so everybody you see basically all have you see this potential of the bad as well as good so what we should do is they we have to uh, strengthen or increasing these uh, positive uh, uh, positive potentials and try to reduce the negative potential i think that's the way to build happy society happy family <laughs> then everybody now talks the world peace of course is a world peace must develop through inner peace for that also the human compassion human affection is the key thing after all peace is not just mere absence of violence peace is actually i think the manifestation of human compassion so the uh, where genuine compassion genuine sense of concern is there peace automatically come so therefore the in order to develop genuine world peace 
I think genuine peace must start from individual, our side. It is wrong to expect you see, peace come from sky or come, come through earth. Peace, you see, must, must you see, develop within ourselves. So then, I think the, now we are in the 21st century. I believe the 20th century was, sorry, the uh, 20th century was the, I think, a very important uh, century of human history. During that century, uh, we humanity carried various different sort of experiment, ideology, system, and various, I think, the, uh, the, uh, fields. So, uh, result, perhaps I think the 20th century really become century of bloodshed, century of violence. And that violence also, because of technology and the science, the uh, destructive power become immense. Therefore, in the 20th century, I think the millions of people suffer as a result of violence in the name of war, name of, I think, patriotism, patriotism. Uh, so eventually, uh, the, the later part of the 20th century, I think everywhere, you see, human beings now have the feeling, some kind of feeling of what's today, fed up about violence. So, uh, So I believe humanity becoming more mature as a result of our past experiences. Now we are 21st century. Now whether this century can be happy one, peaceful one, friendly one, or destructive one, entirely depend on ourselves. So therefore, the, uh, we should know our responsibility to look after humanity. Regarding the future of humanity, each of us have the responsibility to think and to, to act. So with that belief, I always try to make a contribution as my own share. As I mentioned earlier, because I am nothing special. We are entirely same, physically, mentally, emotionally, we are same. So, uh, I, I think in the physically, maybe little differences. Uh, <laughs> some are bigger nose, some are different color, in the hairstyle, little differences. So appearances, little differences. But I think mentally, emotionally, we are completely same. So therefore, you see, first, it is very important to have self-confidence. Should not feel helplessness oneself. I think that's the, uh, the seed of failure. We must keep determination, self-confidence. No matter how difficult it is, the obstacles, you see, we have the potential to overcome these difficulties and obstacles. So right from the beginning, we should have some kind of optimistic attitude. That is very important. According to my own sort of experience, now I'm 66 year, almost 66 year old person. I think in my lifetime, I think a lot of problems, a lot of sort of difficulties, you see, I experienced. So during those sort of difficult period, one thing I learned, truthful, honest, and, and optimism. These are very, very crucial factor. Not only uh, to have happy day and a happy, uh, happy day and happy sort of weeks, but also, you see, uh, without losing hope and determination, the obstacles eventually can overcome. Therefore, the uh, self-confidence is very essential. So, conclusion, I think 
here, people in this country. I think they, uh, when I was in Tibet, they, we, uh, I mean, often we, see, we, we heard America, and we very much thought America made in U.S. And we used to regard anything that has the label made in USA very precious. Mm. So that time, uh, we have the impression that uh, image of America is all oh, champion of liberty, democracy, equality, freedom, these things. Ah. So sometimes, and frankly speaking, American policy, American international policy, I think in the field of international relations, sometimes American may not follow properly according to these principles. But people, but, but as a people, I think generally speaking, you are very much because I'm cherishing, but very much cherishing about you see, these principles. So therefore, uh, now, uh, in order to, uh, in order to have say, uh, happy world, I think, uh, uh, in order to create a happy world, these principles are, I think, as a pillar uh, to have, you see, the uh, happier world. Therefore, you have, I think, a special responsibility to build you see, the happier world on the basis of democracy, equality, liberty, these things. So perhaps on top of that, more compassion. So that is my... My main sort of, what's it, a uh, message or my main sort of views. So that's all, thank you. I think you wait, you wait, I think, a long period perhaps, I think. So do you feel hang, uh, uh, hungry? Okay. Uh, so I will stop here. Thank you. Next two days. Uh. So thank you very much. Thank you.